He thinks he can. He thinks he can. Oh! He can. Heartwarming. Welcome to my world. Your distraction attraction. What am I doing? Does anybody really care? Well, hello everyone. So, yeah, I got a nook for Christmas. <laughs> or a nook color, I should say. Whoever came up with the title nook color, though, has got to be a marketing genius because books on the nook color are about as colorful as all the other books I've ever read in my entire life, so... Yeah. That being said, these don't get very good internet connections. Plus, I guess you can read magazines and children's books like The Little Engine That Could on here too, so... Yeah. Side note, what kind of spoiler title is The Little Engine That Could? I mean, it leaves no mystery as to whether or not it's gonna make it over the hill. The least they could have done is put a question mark at the end. The Little Engine That Could? I don't know, but let's find out! Side, side note, and correct me if I'm wrong, but did I see a trailer for a Little Engine That Could movie? I mean, it's 15 pages of a train going up a hill. How are we getting 90 minutes out of that? No, but I'm sure he was the caboose of all the big trains jokes down at the rail yard, and I'm sure he's delivering medicine to the kids on the other side of the hill, and I'm sure Papa Train died while he was trying to go up the very same hill. <laughs> Probably win an Oscar. Alright, so I think I got a little off track there. Got a little derailed, as it were. Simple things gone wrong or being made more complicated than they need to be. I mean, honestly, like with the Nook. I mean, people have been flipping pages for years, but hey, why not make books breakable? Example, my family uses the worst silverware on the planet. I mean, it's 2011. Who hasn't figured silverware out yet? Looks nice though, right? Yeah. But that's pretty much the end of the positive list for this silverware. Imagine I'm enjoying some salad out of my cowbowl here. I go to take a drink and set my fork down, but... And then in the calamity, I reach for my fork, I spill the drink, and that's it! Dinner's ruined. The knife here is really not much better because you notice the knife has more surface area to actually get messy. So, when it falls off your plate... You're really just getting more stuff messy. The spoon is alright, it's just the little bowl here is so deep and small, it's like eating out of the tablespoon measuring cup. And I don't appreciate that. But perhaps the biggest fail I've seen in dishware recently is this travel mug. You notice it's very basic and simple, white, black. Kind of reminds me of an iPod a little, you know, it's very trendy. And as a white person, looking trendy is of the utmost importance. Now, I don't know what this is made out of, but I can tell you that this white material here does not keep the heat in very well. It is burning hot in your hand, which would be okay because they have this little rubber thing, except you'll notice it's too small to actually cover my entire hand, and it's so thin that it doesn't block the heat at all. I may as well still be holding onto the white part. It's also got the spin top here, which doesn't actually lock into place, so you're kidding yourself if you think it's going to stop the liquid from coming out. And if you get a good look at the lip here, you'll notice that it, no matter what, it has to spill into this little outer rim before it goes into your mouth. So no matter what, it will spill. The bottom is also made out of the same crappy rubber that doesn't protect your hand, and it comes off quite easily, especially when it's hot. I mean, I've just picked it up, and it comes off. So what does smoking hot, bottomless, and thin rubber add up to? Coffee spills. And speaking of trendy things to drink out of, check out this awesome mug I got for Christmas, along with this awesome shirt. And bonus feature, while I'm unwrapping it, I'm being told that the site that the shirt was designed on automatically makes for sale anything designed on the site. So, even though I never really would have considered making a t-shirt, the fact is that it exists. So, if you want a John Curlin t-shirt, um, I will include a link, you know, down in my pants, I guess, and you can go check them out. And one final note before I go, it seems like I cannot get out of the video without thanking you guys, and once more, I'd like to thank you. This is the first video I will have made since becoming a full YouTube partner, Woo! which when I started doing this was kind of like a little pipe dream of mine, but now it has actually happened, and I have you guys to thank, so, um... Thanks. And I've also made a John Curlin Facebook page you can go and check out where I can, you know, leave more daily kind of posts and pictures and maybe some more personal videos so that I can be in contact with you guys more often than just on these videos. So, yay! Uh, I'll also leave a link to that also in my pants, I guess. And I'll, um, see you next time.